This is the Hydro B Illumination. It shows you what it looks like on top. So Bluetooth speaker, basically it's the same as most Bluetooth speakers. This is a speaker that is screaming to be used in the shower. In the box, it does come with a charge cable. There is a USB port on one side that you can use to recharge and as you can see that fits right in there really snug to keep it waterproof also has the suction cup on the bottom the suction cup does appear to be removable that was actually one of my original negatives about the product was that the suction cup wasn't removable um, but upon closer examination it looks like you if you pulled hard enough you could probably get this out of there and put it back on uh, the suction cup works pretty well I have Put it in my shower and it sticks very well if i set it on my glass desk here it's going to stay pretty solid and i'm going to have to work to get it off of there so probably until if i stick it there it sticks pretty solidly and it sticks pretty well i have put it in my shower and it holds on to the wall very well in the box there are some instructions as well as a charge cable it is a micro USB cable so um, pretty standard cable this is a speaker that is screaming to be used in the shower first of all it's very bright color anything that's this kind of bright color basically says hey use me outside use me in the water use me in the shower I am a waterproof speaker so that's a very minor negative but that's one of my negatives about the product is it's just really really bright however none of my other waterproof Bluetooth speakers that I have have a suction cup on it. So this one is obviously designed to be put in the shower. There are a few buttons around the top here as well as the nice big speaker. I do like the design of it. It's really nice and compact. Uh, the power button here. Power on. It's one of the only Bluetooth speakers I have that has a male voice speaking. Paired. What's really cool about this speaker and what makes it the HB illumination is the LED light around the outside. So this lights up around the edge and you can kind of see it leaking through the speaker there as well. Push just the power button. That's where you can cycle through the colors. So you could go through all the colors individually. So blue, there's this like, I guess, teal, red, green. Uh, <laughs> no light and then the cycle effect I have a lot of LED lights as you can see around my office I have these uh, one of the things I don't like about the cycling is it's actually a breathing effect so it shuts off in between the lights unlike the LEDs under my desk that you can see here slowly change from color to color they don't turn off in between the colors so I, I prefer the cycle through the lights instead of the breathing effect but the breathing effect isn't bad and it's nice to see a Bluetooth speaker that has this type of element put into its design. So now let's look through some of the features. So I already have this connected to my phone. Uh, I will say the connection to the smartphone itself was super simple. One of the things that made it super simple was when I went into the Bluetooth on my Android phone to see available devices. This was called HydroBeat I for HydroBeat Illumination. So it was very easy to find. On the power button, there's a tiny little microphone right there that you can use to use this as a speakerphone. The M button here is the mode. FM radio. So here's the FM radio mode. And you can see it's picking up an FM station pretty easily. Bluetooth mode. There's Bluetooth. So there's two modes. There's Bluetooth and there's FM. Uh, you have a play, pause, stop button here. And then you have the volume down, volume up, and those are also your skip forward, skip backward buttons. I always have to consult the manual on these sort of devices to figure out what specifically, how you have to push the buttons. Uh, the short press of the volume buttons, if you short press, that will turn up and down the volume, and if you press and hold, that will go to the next or previous song. The play, pause, stop button, you press to play and pause the music and you can press to answer or end a phone call you can press and hold to reject the incoming call or you can double click to redial the last phone number that was dialed i don't like using those sort of controls because all my bluetooth speakers that i have all the wireless 
Bluetooth headsets that I have that have the buttons on it, they all seem to do them a little different, so I get confused. I don't know which one is long press to turn up the volume or short press to turn up the volume or skip the song, so I end up doing something different every single time. Another thing I notice about this Bluetooth speaker that I really do like is the volume is not independent of your phone. Uh, I have a couple Bluetooth speakers that have their own internal volume, so you could turn the speaker up all the way and you could turn the volume down on your phone, but the speaker volume stays up all the way. With this particular speaker, the volume is tied to the volume on my phone. So when I do volume up on the speaker, it turns the media volume up on my phone or down vi or vice versa, uh, which is really nice. I don't need to dedicated volume. That makes it confusing if I have the volume on my phone and the volume on the speaker. It's obvious that it's waterproof. Um, like I said, I have used it in the shower and I didn't have any problems with it. The only thing that I had with using it in the water was around this outer ring there was a little bit of water or moisture that seemed to get caught underneath that ring um, but it seemed to dry up pretty quickly I could see that maybe getting a little nasty over time but I didn't have an issue with it it was just something to note that I did notice there was some moisture that got caught in that clear plastic the speaker does get plenty loud uh, so there's no need for you to um, worry about that turn that down so um, short press does turn the volume up and down and like I said that does that does control the volume on my phone so right here I'm on Pandora and if I do a short press down that turns up and down the volume on the phone and the long press should go to the next song um, I'm not having that happen long press switches the song maybe so already I'm having some inconsistent behavior with these volume keys. There we go. There it's going, previous song. And then long press power button. We'll shut it off. There's no power off tone. I would like a power off tone so I know it's off, but that's if you have the LEDs. Power on. It's easy to see when it's on sure. or off. But if you have the LEDs off, FM radio, Bluetooth mode, then there isn't really an indicator when it turns off. Okay, so the Here. LEDs are off. And now I'm assuming the speaker is off because I'm no longer connected on my phone. Power on. Another thing I have noticed is with the LEDs themselves, so let's say you want to set this to just be red all the time. I'm going to power this off, and then I'm going to turn it back on. Power on. It resets itself to the default setting with the LEDs. Paired. So it's not going to maintain your LED setting if you have the LEDs on or off. It's going to immediately default back to the breathing LED mode. I'm okay with that because this is my favorite mode rather than just having it set to one color, but that is something to note. So there, there it is, the uh, Hydro Beat or HB Illumination, uh, waterproof, waterproof Bluetooth speaker. Uh, probably the coolest feature about this is it has the FM radio built into it. Obviously the suction cup is a really nice feature if you want a suction cup for in your shower and it does stick quite well. Um, also, it has a speakerphone on it if you want to use that. There are a few things that maybe aren't as polished as they could be, but all in all, they're not deal breakers for me. It would be nice if the LED lights didn't breathe, if they just gradually changed. I would like the controls, the multi-button controls, to be a little more descript. So the long press for the uh, changing, um, changing the songs, short press for the volume. Uh, it would be okay if they just spelled it out on the speaker so that way I wouldn't have to remember or guess next time I'm using this speaker. Um, but I do like the fact that it has the FM radio in it. Um, and I like the fact that you can use it as a speakerphone. Uh, the suction cup is just an added bonus and definitely makes it look and feel waterproof. So yeah, all in all, I think this is a great little Bluetooth speaker, especially if you need something for your shower. It's going to be plenty loud and it's not 
it's small enough that it's not really going to be super obnoxious, like you're not going to be bumping into it just turning around in the shower, which is always a plus.